वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम वन डैश नाइन्टी वन दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन स्ट्रेस एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल्स बाय आर सी हिबलर तो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ द लॉवेबल बेरिंग स्ट्रेस फॉर द मटीरियल अंडर द सपोर्ट एट ए एंड बी इज वन पॉइंट फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द साइज ऑफ स्क्वेयर बेरिंग प्लेट एट ए डैश एंड बी डैश रिक्वायर्ड टू सपोर्ट द लोड डायमेंशन द प्लेट टू द नियरेस्ट मिलीमीटर The reaction at supports are vertical. Take P is equal to 100 kilo newton. So you can see this is the beam having support at A and B, and there is a uniformly distributed load of 40 kilo newton per meter over a length of 1.5 meter. And at this end we have P load, concentrated load, and this load is given as 100 kilo newton. So what you have to find is you have to find the size of this square bearing plate. Clear? So let's start with the solution. So what will be the first step is that if you re remove this support at point A, so you will be having a vertical reaction force. Let this is represented as N A, and if you remove this uh, vertical uh, this support at B, so you will be having a reaction force, vertical reaction force N B. So we'll find this N A N N B by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium that we will apply is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Now you can see there is a uniformly distributed load of forty kilo newton that will act on that is acting on one point five meter length. So we will convert this load into a point load. So this load will be equal to forty. Multiply by the length over which it act, it will be one point five, and the unit will be kilo newton. Now, sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero. So you can see the first load, which is producing moment about point A, is n n b, and perpendicular distance is three meter, and this is producing counterclockwise moment. So it will be positive. So I will write it n b multiply by three meter. Clear. The second moment that is producing due to this concentrated load, which is this one, clear. And the perpendicular distance will be this one, and this distance will be half of one point five, which is zero point seven five meter. And this is producing counterclockwise moment, so it will be also positive. So let me write this distance as well. This distance is zero point seven five meter. Okay. So plus forty multiply by one point five multiply by zero point seven five. The last moment that is produced due to this P load, which is hundred kilo newton, and the perpendicular distance is four point five meter, and this is producing clockwise moment, so it will be negative. So I will write minus hundred multiply by zero four point five is equal to zero. Clear. So three n b plus forty into one point five multiplied by zero point seven five minus four point five multiplied by hundred will be equal to zero. So when you solve this again, it's very easy. When you solve this, you will get normal force. Our reaction force at point B will be equal to one thirty five kilo newton. Now we will find this vertical force at point A. So how you will find this? So you will apply sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero, and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see one force which is downward is this one. The other one is N A. The other one is plus N B, and this minus hundred will be equal to zero. So I will write forty into Forty uh, in forty into one point five plus N A, which is upward. This is minus here plus N B is one thirty five, and minus this P hundred is equal to zero. So you will get it minus sixty plus N A plus one thirty five minus hundred will be equal to zero. So N A will be equal to N A plus one thirty five minus one sixty five, 
sorry minus 160 will be equal to 0 so n a will be equal to 25 kilo newton now you have both n a and n b so you can see here that this is the vertical reaction by this support on this beam clear as a result of newton third law the load will act on this bearing plate will be again n b but it will be compressive one and similarly here the, the load n will n a will acting on this bearing plate clear so what we will do is that for plate a let's say for plate a dash let's say for example this is the square plate clear and this is square so let one side will be equal to a a dash so this side will be also equal to a a dash because this is a square plate clear so we have a bearing stress is equal to bearing load at point a which will be equal to n a divided by bearing area of a dash bearing area clear so bearing allowable bearing stress is 1.5 megapascal so 1.5 into 10 is to power 6 pascal and n a is 25 kilonewton so 25 into 10 is to power 3 and area of this bearing plate will be equal to a dash into a dash clear so from here you will get a da a, a dash square will be equal to 25 into 10 is to power 3 divided by 1.5 into 10 is to power 6 so again if you take square root on both sides so you will get a dash will be equal to 0 0.1291 meter and in millimeter it will be equal to 129.1 millimeter so we will round it off so we will select length of this bearing plate at a will be equal to 130 millimeter because it is given that choose nearest to the millimeter now we will move for plate for plate at b dash so let this is the plate at b dash square plate so let this one side is equal to a b dash so this will be also equal to a b dash so bearing allowable bearing stress is given as for the plate b it will be equal to n b divided by area of this bearing at b dash clear this will be a dash okay now you have the value allowable bearing stress is 1.5 megapascal so 1.5 into 10 to power 6 is equal to n b which is 135 kilonewton so 135 into 10 to power 3 divided by area of this bearing plate at b dash and that will be equal to a b dash multiplied by a b dash so from here you will get a b dash square is equal to 135 into 10 to power 3 divided by 1.5 into 10 to power 6 clear and if you take square root on both sides so you will get a b dash will be equal to under the root 135 multiplied by 10 to power 3 divided by 1.5 into 10 to power 6 and when you calculate it you will get a b dash will be equal to 0 0.300 meter or a b dash is equal to 300 millimeter so what we will conclude that this plate plate at a b will be a a will be equal to 130 millimeter by 130 millimeter clear and plate at this b will be equal to 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter that can be used to support the load shown in the figure and that was all about this problem 
वन डैश टू नाइन्टी वन आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू हैव लर्न फ्राम इट दोज वो आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड थैंक यू फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी